Samuel, what's this video going to be about? We're going to show you how we spend our Monday night, and hopefully it'll give you some ideas on how you can go spiritually with your spouse. Yeah! Hey guys, welcome back to The Biblical Couple, where we help you walk with God in your marriage. Tonight, on the Monday night dinner menu, we're having some Korean braised chicken and some leftover cauliflower. And we have Samuel's version of what we're having. Bon appetit. Let's pray. Alright everybody, so we had an awesome dinner time together and we finished cleaning up as you saw. So now we're going to embark on our special Monday night family worship. We change things up different nights, we do some different things, but for our Monday nights we have a special time of doing these guys. These are our quiet time devotional memory verse flashcards. We got it from our beloved church. Let me get the front of this thing. <laughs> There's no cover. Oh, okay. <laughs> never mind. All right, never mind. I wanted to show you something, but this is Psalm 1, verses 1 to 3. And these are all verses that our growth ministry in our church has so graciously collated for us based off of this book, the Quiet Time devotional booklet that just gives you some chunks of verses to read every morning. And so our goal tonight <laughs> is to memorize this verse together and through it to grow in our marriage. And then what we also do is pray for one of our 17 missionaries that we support as a church. Yep. And this missionary has a special place in our hearts. He's Ricky Kroger. Our REACH ministry sends us these wonderful emails called Missions Matters and gives us little updates on our missionaries so that we can pray for him as a family. Yes. Ricky Kroger is out in Oaxaca, Mexico. Let's do it. So this is the time where we start memorizing verses as a family. And memorizing verses, if you do them already, you know how great they are. But if you have not been doing that, you're missing out because they're really great. It not only bolsters your own personal walk with the Lord, but also can encourage others as well. Yeah, exactly. Last week, I was actually a little bit nervous about making a possibly incendiary Facebook post about how God has literally created the whole earth in six literal days, Genesis chapter one to two. And I was anticipating what kind of flame I might possibly get from the comments. And I was sharing that with Joanna and she so faithfully encouraged me with our memory verse, Matthew 5, 14 to 16. Yeah, when you shared that with me, I was thinking, oh, perfect time. The song that I memorized, Matthew 5, 14 to 16 to immediately came up to my mind. And then I texted Cheng, you are the light of the world, the city set on a hill cannot be hidden. And that was really fun to be able to encourage Cheng with as well. I'm super thankful also that we get to pray for our missionaries, not only as a church, but within our marriage. Praying for missionaries is really encouraging to me as a wife when I see Sheng taking seriously the command from Luke 10 too, for us to beseech him to send out laborers into the harvest. It's just really fun to be able to take part in God's work through prayer. It is really cool, right? So many times we think about Ephesians 5, specifically about how we as a married couple embody Christ in the church. And what better way to specifically embody that than to be praying for gospel ministry, that Christ would be able to keep building his church. Mind blowing. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think it's time for Samuel to go night night. He's a little loopy. Yes. <laughs> you can tell he's getting loopy when he starts to... Uh, just be extra fidgety, biting things, and kissing mama a lot. Oh, I can 
Here we are, our final stop for the night before we wash up. Joanna is quite bundled up. And um, she, I always make fun of Joanna because I think that she is a lot like a cat. No, I'm not. Um, and she justifies that she's not because she hates cats, which is exactly what cats do. They hate cats. Anyways, so the doctrine of repentance. Mm. Yes. We got the idea from our Drones Club, which is part of our men's ministry at our church. They encouraged the men to be reading this, and I figured, hey, why don't we just read this as a family? Previously, what we've done on Monday nights when we're having our fundamentals focus time is go through hermeneutics. And now, all we have to do is read a couple of pages of this book as we're learning about repentance. And it's just super, super encouraging. So, let's do it. I shall not dispute the priority, whether faith or repentance goes first. Doubtless, repentance shows itself first in a Christian's life. Yet, I am apt to think that the seeds of faith are first wrought in the heart. It is so nice to be able to study the fundamentals together, uh, because these are the things that we can so easily take for granted, and it just really adds to our marriage, where when I'm talking to Joanna, I don't just ask her, generically oh are you growing spiritually but i get to actually go into in depth about oh how is our repentance and how is the depth of our hatred of sin and you know so many times we don't even really know how to repent and i think both of us are going to learn so much more about the qualities of repentance and just thinking about how when we talk to each other like how frequently are we repenting did you repent today honey what kind of Great question is that to be spurring each other on spiritually. So, great question. Great question. Great question. Very beneficial for our marriage. So that is a snapshot of what our Monday night looks like. Ideally, we're trying to stick to this and uh, Lord willing, he will grow our family and our marriage much through it. If this video was helpful to you guys, consider liking and subscribing. We would love to continue to put out these kind of videos for you guys so that you can also grow in your marriage as well. We also have a rock solid marriage fellowship that is tied to our church. It happens every first and third Sunday of the month from 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time come out and you won't regret it. You're going to learn so much and grow in your marriage. It'll be great. In the meantime, keep walking with God in your marriage. See you guys next time. We just had a awesome and awesome, not a, ah, uh, grammar. <laughs> oh, oh, he wanted to give me a real kiss. Whoa. All right, let's, oh, you got, all right. Ah. <laughs>